YouTube, what's going on? Solution for the Solution for Kicks. Back with another video. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and smack that notification button so you know when I'm dropping another one of these things. And you too can be a part of the Mighty Four Kicks Brigade First Division. Today, we're going to talk about keeping it real. Some of you have not been keeping it real out here in the sneaker game as far as what you're putting in your collection and what you're pursuing. And if you really, really like the sneaker, let me tell you something. If the sneaker has been around this version for a long time and you never had them in your collection, despite the colorways, the despite the hype or the collaborations behind it, you're not keeping it real. Don't wait for the hype train to come around and say, oh yeah, I guess I'll get a pair now because other people like them. Before I get started though, if you notice my eyes, this weather change out here, it is messing with me. My voice is a little jacked up. I did not want to do this video, but I said, you know something? It is time for content. Um, I was saying I was going to do the video until everything cleared up. I don't know if I'm going to clear up until this weather settles out. It's been cool in the mornings, hot in the daytime, and I leave out in the morning, and I'm sitting in the AC in class, and it's warm when I come outside, and all that stuff messes with me. Okay, I'm old, but we're going to talk about the Jordan 1 Low. A lot of you have not been keeping an official out there until they started mimicking some of the classic colorways such as the Game Royal, the uh, Gold Toe Top 3, whatever you want to call it, the uh, Black Toe. What else I got? Um, of course, yeah, the Shattered Backboard, the Pine Green and kind of a flip version. But if there were no connotations to those iconic colorways you would not get those and matter of fact i'm going to show you a sneaker right now because it's been in my collection i've done a collection video on it and i also had another pair of jordan one lows one of my first sneakers i bought and put on sneaker youtube go all the way back and look i call it the um uh, the avocado croissants or something like that i got them from marshall's for like 39 dollars. i have since sold that shoe well over a year ago so right here trust me this Jordan 1 right now, if it dropped, you would go after it. But guess where I found this at? The Nike Clearance Store in Hillsboro. Rest in peace, the Nike Clearance Store in Hillsboro. It is gone. I'm very sad about that, but I found this joint sitting on the shelf at the Nike Clearance Store in Hillsboro. And I think I paid like $29 for it. It says $49.99 on here, but I think I got like 40% off. And here's the shoe right here. I've worn these a few times. And the reason why I've only worn them a few times because it is an eight and a half and that's cutting it, cutting it very, very close, but it is a wearable sneaker. And I almost sold this sneaker, y'all. I almost sold it. I was like, I'm not wearing these. I probably should get rid of them. But trust me, if this bread colorway drop right now, you all would want it. And I guarantee in the comments, like, hey, man, that's fire. But guess what? I've talked about this sneaker before in another video. And I said, this is not a true bread, if you will, because this is not all right. This is not one. We tend to go away from the normal color blocking. Purists don't like that. But I had this sneaker in my collection for, I think the sneaker's almost two and a half years old, somewhere around there. Around the time when I really, really, matter of fact, I bought this when I went to SneakerCon Dallas. So July, 2017. So the sneaker's over two years old in my collection, but it was released way before then. But nobody was talking about this. If you got this sneaker in collection, show me a video. Let me see it told you not keeping it real the next sneaker i added was this joint right here and i know some of you going wow what's going on with that but this is a grade school sneaker right here okay this was actually intended for i think it's a grade school girls this is a g yeah this is a gg sneaker but it got extended and it sat on the shelves at shoe pilots forever and i think i got this sneaker for well well under retail i thought it was dope i have yet to wear it it is dead stock peep it out I showed this in my collection before, and guess what? This mimics another sneaker in the high form. And you didn't want it, but now another sneaker is out there, and you probably want this one now. Keep it real. Let me know. Jump down in the comments and say, Dag, I wish I had that one, because I'm about to show you the next one. No, I'm not. I'm trying to go in a little bit of order when I cop these things. The next load that I cop was this hyped up beast right here the the low black toe if you will 
They're ninety dollars. Lows are ninety dollars. Just like people hate on the mids, but then suddenly they improved the quality on the mids, and there was a little bit of backstory on some of them. They did this with the lows, so they started like, you know something? We're going to infuse some energy into the lows because people aren't buying lows for some reason. Only skateboarders buy lows because, hey, I, you know, I might not want to dunk this time, but I'll get this one. But yeah, this drop, a lot of people went after it. They restocked a couple of times, and I think they dropped around the same time the um, pine green lows dropped as well. And those hung around for a bit longer versus these. But I've seen tons of videos on this sneaker right here. Even I got a, I think I got a couple of hundred views on this deal right here because of the colorway. That's it. If you don't have this colorway on this sneaker, you won't touch a low. Once again, keep it real, y'all. Y'all not keeping it real out here. I'm telling you, you're not. Next up is actually I bought this sneaker along with another one recently. I took back my Pharrell Williams PRD NMDs. Well, my Pharrell Williams Human Racer PRDs, and I basically flipped them to get two pairs of sneakers. And I picked up this Jordan Low gold toe right here. This is another hype release right here because it mimics what? The top three complex con joint, the high that dropped right here. People are like, oh yeah. Now the problem I had was this, with this particular sneaker, it's not this one, but it is the grade school. It's not patent leather shiny. They, they cheated the grade school, the small feet people out there out of the, the true uh, true, well, out of the true look of the sneaker, and I told you they do that a lot. The, the grade school, the young ladies and the kids, y'all don't, yeah, the small feet adults, they, they don't do y'all right all the time. They cut corners, but this sneaker noticeably looks different in the GS and GG, the GS and GG sizes, and that's not fair. But trust me, you would not want this if the Complex Con Top 3 sneaker did not exist. Next up is a sneaker that is clearly misnamed is this deal right here, the Shattered Backboard Low. They even came out in the mid version and you went nuts after that because there was some resale value because of the connotations to the original sneaker. But you didn't like mids before. But now you like lows, so you have to get this one too. This was moving really well. You might be able to find a 10 and a half or 11 or something like that. Now remember, what are the money sizes? Nine, nine and a half, eight and a half? Yeah, those are gone. But I was able to, to grab one of these, um, with the quickness at uh, a Foot Locker here in San Antonio, along with this pair. Remember I told you I flipped those Pharrell Williams Human Racer PRDs for these two. I thought it was a better value for a sneaker that I probably wouldn't wear versus a sneaker I probably wouldn't wear. But this is not shattered backboard. When we talk about shattered backboard, we talk about that impeccable leather and the, uh, the, the shattered backboard insole in it. This has nothing like that. It just has sort of the color blocking of the shattered backboard, but because it kind of looks like that, we throw that on there. This is like new, this is new buck right here. This is not even suede. And you got um some patent leather on the swoosh. It's different. It's different. It's just a black and orange sneaker. Or I will call these the, the, the Jordan Low Orioles or something like that. Well, the Halloween joints. I got some socks I need to throw on with these as well. But yeah, y'all need to stop it, man. It's because of the, the, um, like I said, the connotations to the original high colorway. Oh, I get the low ones. Oh, the mids. And another one I just scooped up recently was the rivalry pack joint right here. This one in the mid version, I think it sold a little better and it's got a little cool story behind it. So you know the teams MJ played in the finals um, are represented on here. You got the Phoenix Suns, you got the Rockets, you got the, uh, the Lakers, um, you name it. Everybody but the Sonics is on here. There's no green on here for the Sonics, which kind of bugged me out a little bit. But yeah, got these for the low as well. I used a coupon and I wound up paying like $57 for these. So that's pretty dope. I need to check out the insole on this. Yeah, this one actually has the rivalry colors in there, if you will. All right, so you got the Rockets and you know all that good stuff in there. Who's a grateful? I don't know. Y'all feel me. But I thought it was a cool colorway. It was a dope sneaker. Um, I passed on the mid version of these because they were in the, the PX like forever. The mid version of these. And it's got a little satin right there on the swoosh with the new bug. You know, with some decent leather and all that good stuff. But a nice um, multicolored sneaker out there that's pretty dope. 
and most people complain about the wings being back here and all that stuff and the jump man on the tongue but no you were buying these because oh wait a minute i might be able to make a penny off those or whatever you know i'm telling you man the the hype train is serious if there's no hype behind the cd you don't want it and a lot of more i'm telling you i would surmise 90 percent of my collection has nothing to do with hype nothing the closet right here these racks in the master bedroom on the shelves on the bottom floor i don't have too many pairs of hype sneakers because i simply buy what i like no one influences me to buy a sneaker unless i get to see it up close and i like it hence as we uh <clears throat> backtrack a little bit these deals they sold out some places didn't sell out other places but I didn't need the hype machine to tell me, hey, you probably should get those. Really, the last hype machine sneaker I got is up here, and those are the cities. But make sure you comment, like, subscribe, tap that notification button, agree to disagree, because guess what? Some of you aren't keeping it real out there. Let's talk about it. Tell me why you really bought the sneaker. If the high version did not exist, you would not touch the shoe. To this day! <laughs> to this day! Refute that down below. I'm the solution for kicks. Make sure you look out for that for kicks brigade merch that's coming. Make sure you comment, like, subscribe, and tap the notification button so you know when I'm dropping on one of these things. And I'm out of here. Boom. <clears throat>